Oh, what's going on, y'all? Yeah, man, you know, we maintain waves and sometimes a problem. It's your boy, Loso 2.0, the business prop himself. <clears throat> Today, we're going to talk about where snitching got my niece at, right? All right, Um, you ever heard a story about the boy who cried wolf? You know what? I'm sure you have, but just in case, I'm going to explain it. Um, The boy was, like, living on some type of farm or something. His father was, like, a sheep herder or something like that. And basically, you know, all he had to do was just watch his only job. He had one job. His one job was to just tell anybody when the wolves were coming, like tell like, oh, when the wolves are coming. So basically he was just like, you know, he was just in there chilling. He thought he'd be playing around or whatever. And um, honestly, I'm not even sure that's how the story goes, but this is my version of it. He kept saying like, oh, you know what I mean? Oh, the wolves are coming. Wolves are coming. Everybody running down, kind of like Chicken Little. He, oh my God, the sky's falling. We all running. Okay, we're good. Find out he was lying. <laughs> You're like, well, that was a Chicken Little's case, but his case. Then, you know, it happens again. Same thing. Everybody running down there. But then this time, actual wolf came. He did it too. And no one believed him because he, he kept lying about it, right? And it's kind of like it was with my niece, honestly, right? She kept saying, uh, you know, oh, no, the other two are peeing in the bed or something like that. They're wet in the bed. But in general, it was her that was, I mean, her is doing it every night, too. But she just kept doing it. No one believed her. I don't, honestly, when I really think about it, I really don't know why no one did. You know, she had no reason to lie. But also, other two didn't have no reason to lie. We just seen the other one that was older. She was the middle one. So, we seen the older one as, like, you know, there's no reason for her to lie because it's, like, you know, she's supposed to be setting an example, which we should expect it, right? Um... And we actually used to get on the middle child because it's like, why are you hating this much? Like, I understand that you peed the bed because, like, the rule is, like, you you wet the bed, no electronics. So we understood, like, okay, we get why you're doing it. You, you know, you're wet in the bed. We understand you're upset about it. But why do you have to bring your sisters down? You should be congratulating them on not wet in the bed. You know what I'm saying? It's not like a matter of trying to pull each other down. That's the problem right now with our community. And no offense, you know what I mean? The black community, what we got going on is we always try to pull each other down, honestly. So it's just like, why are you doing it with your sisters? They're your sisters. You should be trying to, like, for me, good job. I know I don't get electronics today, but I want you to do a good. I just want to say good job to you because you did. Um, Then, you know, we moved to, like, it was these weeks, you know, months later or whatever. Same thing. She keeps doing it every day. Then, like, she was like, no. Like, this day, I guess she really snapped. Like, she just had enough of it. Went into the actual laundry bag, pulled up the room, was like, no, she was wearing this underwear last night. And my sister was like, wow, she actually was wearing underwear last night. Then she was like, no, tell the truth right now to the older child. She was like, yeah, I did. Mind you, she was doing it the whole time. You know what I mean? She had diaper, like, you know, like older kid diapers on, all that stuff. Like literally everything. Like she literally was, it was literally like, yo, we found out the truth. Like you really been lying this whole entire time. We don't know why we wasn't believing the middle child, but we eventually was like, oh, okay. Like, oh, she's actually telling the truth, stuff like that. So now we believe her. We actually look at her for everything because now it's like she's the one setting the example. Now, so we see her as the one setting an example. And honestly, this is how your customers are. No, they're not wet in the bed and lying about it. OK, but they will. One thing is one thing they will do is they will find out whether or not you're lying or if you're being honest or not. So it, it's like a place called the gray zone, right? The gray zone is like when you you know how when they say if you're not if you don't tell something you leave something out that's lying still that's what the gray zone is you're telling the truth only when asked it but you only tell them what they want to hear but you but then if they you don't tell them all the details which is basically what happens like you you might be like oh, okay yep you you get this for fifty dollars a month you know what i mean but then the second year it's a it's 150 dollars. You know i mean that's the gray zone you didn't tell them the fact that you didn't tell them all the information they need to know um you just did whatever you did to basically get the sale and all it takes is one customer to complain just like you know my niece did go above and beyond they go check everything do more research like okay they got done dirty and you're like no i'm not gonna let anyone else go dirty do constant reviews do all this stuff just to go really hand and then you're gonna have your loyal fans kind of like we wasn't loyal fans but we were just like okay we there's no reason we should believe the oldest daughter because you know obviously she lies she's supposed to be setting an example so, like, they, they're a little offensive. Like, no, he, he's not telling. He never did that. It was good when I had it. This, that, and the third. Like, literally going in about it. And then, so, it really proves. So, they actually bring up enough proof. 
and it's like, oh snap, like he was really telling the truth. Now he's now they believe him, and then everybody believes. Next thing you know, you're out of business because you've been lying all this time. You know what I mean? And I hate to say it, but um, you know, I'm not saying any names or anything like that. But like, for example, like um, I used to do like some type of stock trade and stuff like that, right? And it was like people were like I basically got drawn into the trading thing because they were trading paper stocks. Now paper stocks is basic it's fake money so it's fake money that you basically use basically like a simulation and you just use it in order to basically just like practice stock trading on stuff like that so it made them look like they were making money but in general they weren't making any money they were just doing that just to get you in and they're making more money from actually pulling you in that is what my biggest problem was so actually that that's another example right there so it same goes for relationships too like you can't work in the gray zone and leave certain things out like oh okay yeah um you know what I'm saying? Don't say nothing. Like, you know, you've been texting a, a girl or something like that. And it might just be your friend. You know what I mean? And But you didn't tell your significant other, like, oh, that you've been texting a girl. But the thing is this. It's like, it's not a big deal until you make it a big deal by not saying anything. You know what I mean? So now you're working in a gray zone. So now it is a big deal. So now it's like you're about to lose your relationship. And that's why some of y'all can't keep relationships. You're not just honest truth. Like, I literally tell women everything. You know what I mean? Like, literally, there's no reason for me to leave things out. That's working in the gray zone. It's like, okay, I didn't tell you because you didn't ask. But it's like, how am I supposed to ask? You know what I mean? So it's like, that's the reason why right now that y'all in relationships. It's the same way, though. You know what I mean? And the thing about this, you don't want to work in the gray zone because one thing, the truth always comes to light. You know, in Kevin's Heart um, by J. Cole, when he's actually talking about Kevin Hart cheating on his freaking woman, yeah, you would see that it's like, he even says it too. You know, you just listen to the song. I forgot what he said. I'm going to in a minute. Actually, I'm going to listen to it after I watch this. You know what I mean? But um, I said after I watch this, after I finish, you know, giving you all some daily 2.0, though. And then the thing about it is with, with your business, your customers aren't stupid, though. They're actually really intelligent. They're already skeptical about and not believing anything that you say. So the fact that you're over here not being truthful is actually making them right. So now it's like, I see it all the time on my job. Like, people will be trying to look over my shoulder when I'm doing stuff with the thing. I'm like, yo, like... I'm not going to do nothing to your account. I really don't care that much to do all this stuff to your account just to get the sell. Honestly, it's not my, you know what I mean? It's just like, what? I don't know what happened to y'all in the past. But the thing is, you know, if they if they find out you are lying, they're not going to trust you. They're never going to trust you. And if they don't trust you, you're losing credibility. And like I said, word of mouth is the best marketing tool ever. But it can also work in your disadvantage. So if you actually lie about something or you did something that wasn't good and it actually sucks, they're going to talk about it. Plus, people talk. That's what they like to do. They like the gossips. They're going to talk about it. You're going to lose credibility. Next thing you know, you're out of business. So my biggest thing to take away from today is don't work in the gray zone. And that being said, 2.0 out.